food chain. All living things need energy to survive, but where do they get that energy? Autotrophs are living things that produce their own food. They are also called producers. Producers, like plants, use the sun's energy along with carbon dioxide and water to produce their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Consumers are living things that have to get their food from an outside source. They're also known as heterotrophs. Now there are three types of consumers, herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores are living things that eat plants. Carnivores are living things that eat other animals. Omnivores are living things that eat other animals or plants. Consumers that eat plants are also called primary consumers. Consumers that eat animals that eat plants are secondary consumers. And consumers that eat animals that eat other animals are tertiary consumers. Now notice that the arrow always goes in the direction of the animal doing the eating. The arrow represents the transfer of energy. We can see that transfer in the energy pyramid with producers at the bottom, followed by primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers. As primary consumers eat producers, they only get 10% of the actual energy. So if it starts off as 10,000 kilocalories, they'd only get 1,000. When secondary consumers eat primary consumers, they also only get 10% of that energy, making it only 100 kilocalories. And as tertiary consumers consume secondary consumers, again, only 10% of that energy gets transferred. As the energy moves up the pyramid, 90% of it is lost from one level to the next. Now, a food chain would not be complete without a very important group of living things. You see, decomposers play a critical role in eating dead matter to provide nutrients to the soil. This shows just a simple food chain of producers, consumers, and decomposers. However, the world itself is much more complex, and that's where a food web comes in. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.